Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at this, the pee bag from Coilmaster, right here on my vaping place. Hey everybody, before I start in today, I want to say a couple of words here. If we do not start getting on the case of each and every one of our elected congressional representatives and our senators, then we are a part of the problem, even more so than the FDA and their deeming regulations. Those things are going to kill vaping deader than a 45 caliber slug to the head. And if we do not start doing something, then we are a part of the problem. If you're not a member of CASA, Go to august8th.org, sign up with CASA, send out the emails, get on the phone, talk to your representatives, talk to your senators. If you can't talk to them, talk to one of their aides, okay? Get on their case. Let them know that you want them to support H.R. 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment now. Not tomorrow, not the next day, but now. You want them to know that this is how you feel and that you vape and you vote. And if they don't do what you want them to do, they're going to be looking for a new job. Enough said. All right, let's get on to the video. Hey, everybody. Nice of you to join me today. Thanks for coming. Okay, what we're going to be taking a look at today is this. The Coilmaster pee bag. Um, yeah, well, I know it's not exactly the best name out there, but... This little thing has a lot of uses. Um, seriously, if you're going out and about with your vape and you're running around, and if you're not one of those ladies who happens to have one of those big steamer trunks that they carry around with them that's got everything in there, including the kitchen sink, and if you're like me and like a lot of other guys who turn around and who carry your vape and your uh, extra bottle of juice, with you in your pocket well guess what you need one of these or at least something similar to this okay so without any further ado let's go down to the build deck take a look and see exactly what this thing is how it's put together you can get an idea of what's happening with it and then we'll come back upstairs here and we'll take a look talk about it and um you know, we'll, we'll discuss it and I'll give you my views on it and, well, let's take it from there, okay? So, let's go down below decks and take a look and see what's going on, all right? Talk to you in a few minutes. Okay, folks, here we are down on the bill deck. We're going to be taking a look today at this. Another little gift from our friends over at Coilmaster. This is called the pee bag. Yeah, I know. Get your laughing out of the way now. I know. Um, not a very good choice of names for it. I think the P may have stood for personal bag, but I'm not sure. Okay? Uh, don't quote me on it. I even asked Joker, hey Joker, um, about what the P stood for. He didn't even know. Um, he, he couldn't even hazard a guess. Uh, this was made and came into the uh, Coilmaster lineup before he actually got to working there at Coilmaster. So, yeah. Ah, uh, all right. Now that everybody stopped laughing themselves silly, let's take it out of its plastic bag and take a look and see what we've got here. Okay, uh, you have a small pouch here on the side for putting your juice bottles in. Uh, I've got a standard 30 mil glass juice bottle. Fits pretty nicely for those people in the dripper crowd. Or the one, those people out there who prefer to have their juice in glass bottles. If I'm out and about, glass bottle. Uh-uh. Not happening. Let's take a look and see here. Oh. 
Coilmaster Seb. Mm, no. That's not going to work too well. Uh, yeah. Maybe just the right size for a 30 mil glass bottle, but definitely not for the Seb. Little pouch here in the front where you can go and put some coils, some coinage, and whatever you might want to put in here. Nice little zipper on the front. Zippers up nicely. Uh, the material on this, I'm not sure what the material is, but it is definitely got a nice nice woodland digital camo pattern on here that would work very nicely if you're a hunter or something like that yeah that would work very nicely on the back you have well the tag showing you what it's supposed to look like you have two belt loops now I like these belt loops I like these belt loops a lot because I have an old cell phone camera case that I use for carrying my mods about normally. It has a metal clip that goes on over my belt and uh, sometimes it decides that it's going to want to take a header. Uh, luckily most of the times, fingers crossed, I have been able to find it, find it deciding to go a wall on me before it actually goes and hits the floor. But this is a very good idea. Sewn on. It's not going to come off your belt. Also, it's got two straps on here. Now, the reason why I like this design is, is that you guys out there, and I don't know, maybe some of you gals too, have you ever noticed that when you go and you try to put something onto your pants, like clip something onto your belt, you always have a belt loop right where you want to put whatever it is that you're clipping onto your belt. Yeah. Now, if this was one big strap on here, no good. You'd have to put it either backwards from that belt loop or slightly to the front, and it might be getting in your way. With this here, using two separate individual straps, guess where? the belt loop goes right in the middle so that sits right there on the side of your hip bada bing nice idea also nice idea putting this little hook on here so you can attach your keys to it however the hook that is provided well let's put it to you this way it's one of the cheesiest pieces of garbage I've ever seen in my life. Not good at all. I mean, I wouldn't turn around and put anything on this thing, let alone my car keys or anything like that. No. You can see right in here, the cheap piece of aluminum that they have here for a tube. Let me see if I can get that to focus in properly. Well... It's a little blurry, but you can see what I'm talking about. That's bent out of place. Yeah. Um, garbage. This D-ring here, that's a good idea. You get yourself one of these things, but in a good piece of equipment, put it on here. You can keep your keys on here. Good idea. I like this idea. That idea? Uh-uh. Forget about it. Now... Velcro strap. If you notice here, this comes off like so. This is a good idea if you have an off-centered atomizer. It will hold that nice and securely. It's got plenty of room in here. You can also put something else in there if you wanted to, like if you needed a Put your keys in there or something, which I wouldn't do because it's liable to scratch up your mod. But yeah, that's a good idea. It's also a good idea for the simple reason if you get something like this. Put that in there. You can put this to one side. 
However, um, I don't know. This big space over here, I don't like that so much. I'd love to have seen another piece come over here, a dual piece. So if you have a center mounted like this, a center mounted Addy like this is, you can put another one over there. It's nice and secure in the place. Yeah, it's a little bit more of a pain to take off two, two straps, but makes for securing a couple of hundred dollar piece of equipment in place. Uh, also, if you happen to forget yourself and put this in like this and clip this over, well, it could turn around and could get in the way. I don't know. I'd like to see another strap on here. Seriously. Uh, something that you could turn around that, that could make things a little bit more secure. Um, yeah, that's... I could see that catching on something and your mod coming out. It, it has the potential. Not very easily, I will admit, but it has the potential. This thing here, I would like to see a, like a piece of elastic in here. So that way, in the top part, instead of just this, this edge binding tape that's on here, so that way, if you put something in like a seb, you could put that in there and it would be cinched into place. You know, the, the elastic would cinch it into place and hold it more firmly in place. So that way, it doesn't go anywhere. The uh, retaining clip that comes with this, you could actually clip, and I have done it, clip it over like so to this. So that way, this doesn't go flying you know, and, and wind up losing. If you got to break into a run or something like that, this is going to go flying. Seriously. Uh, with the clip that comes with this normally, clipped onto here, it's going to come out. It's going to bang against your side, but at least you won't lose it. So, yeah, I, I don't know what the, the denier rating on this fabric is. But as you can see, it's a fully lined fabric. It's got some nice lining material in here. The stitching is pretty good on here. I haven't come across any, any crazy stitches that are just like dying to come out on them by themselves. So, yeah. That's it. That's, that's the pea bag in all its glory. All right, let's head back up topside and we'll talk a little bit more about this, all right? Meet you topside. Hey, everybody. Glad you could make it back topside. Um, glad you didn't kill yourself on the overheads. P-Bag. Like I said before, not the best idea. P for personal, I can see that. I have no other idea what they, why they would have called it this. But, you know, I don't make the naming conventions for Coil Master. This little bag is cool. It really is. Now, I have to say this. I don't use this when I'm at work, okay? I got enough stuff hanging off my belt as it is when I'm at work. I don't need other stuff hanging off. This, this is what I carry to keep my extra juice in. This goes in my pocket. This is what I carry my mod in, okay? Uh, this is my going to work mod, my Elif iStick 100 TC. It goes in here like this. At this, just a little cell phone case. Clips right onto my belt. It's small. It's in. It's out of the way. It keeps out of the way, and I don't have to worry about it. It works for me primarily. This thing, I use this when I'm out and about in in you know non-work clothes. I'm going out to the store or something like that. But then again, at that time, I'm still taking this with me. And, well, as you can see, this fits in here pretty nicely. Let me hold it up so you can see what I'm talking about. But an extra strap on here would have been nice, you know, if I was going to be taking out, we'll say, my iStick 200, which is a non-traditional mod. And this being a traditional mod with the 510 connector off to one side. This one here, not only is it a little bit fatter, which means that it's going to 
stick in there, but now you see how much space you have here, okay? An extra strap across the top here to hold this in place would have been nice. Next thing, this. Ooh, almost fired at that time. The bottle holder. This fits a 30 mil glass bo dripper bottle very nicely. Nice and tight. It's not going to come flying out, but something like the Seb, which is what I prefer to carry it in, because I know this isn't going to break on me if somebody slams into me with something or if I slam into something, you know. No, that's that flies out of there real quick. Granted, you can take the connector here, the carabiner, and put it onto this D-ring here in the back, but, you know, it can get a little bit of kludgy and can be a real pain sometimes. And if you really got to break into a run or something like that, we'll say you're out in, you know, on a trail someplace doing a hike or something, and you suddenly get something that's looking at you like, you know, your dinner, uh, and you got to take off, then this is going to come flying out real easily and it's going to be banging into your side. And if it's banging into your side and you're trying to make distance between you and the entity that wants to invite you to his dinner, um, mm -mm, not a good idea. Call master, you might want to make this with like elastic strapping, nice wide one inch, two inch wide elastic strapping where it's when it's fully extended, it will hold that 30 mil bottle, but when it's contracted and in, in its relaxed state, it will put enough pressure on the SEB or other stuff like it that, you know, it's not going to turn around and come flying out if you got to turn around, and, you know, whole butt. So, yeah, just a couple of ideas of some things that you might want to try if you're going to do something like this. Or you might want to come out with a cut as, you know, um, a line of stuff like this, you know, padded so that way people can carry it with them, you know, offer it in a variety of colors like black, dark brown, um, woodland camo for the guys who go out hunting, stuff like that. Slightly smaller here in the top, but with the padding and stuff on there and the elastic, this is the kind of elastic I'm talking about. You see how wide that is? That's like two inch wide elastic. You get something like that long enough. You can just put the vertical, you know, the, the vertical ribs of it going like this and it'll expand and contract well you get the idea look main point here is if you're having a problem carrying everything out with you you know this thing this thing weighs a ton this thing's going to put a hole in your pocket faster than you can shake a stick at even this this is heavy this can turn around and put a easily put a hole in your pocket unless you have something like this that you can carry it on your belt with well, guess what? This is going to come in handy. The web straps on the back here make it nice and easy to fit around the belt loop. Yeah, nice. And this doesn't cost that much. It's, it's a few bucks, you know? It could save you a lot of time, a lot of headache, a lot of hassle. So, yeah, I, I like this. It's got a couple of things that needs to be changed. But other than that, it's cool. So if you're looking for something, try it. It might work for you, it might not. Until such time as you try it, you're never going to know. What can I say? Having said all of that, I'm going to chop out of here now. But before I do, I want to say thank you to Joker over at Quailmaster for sending these products over to me to review. I hope I've helped you out by giving you some ideas, some changes that you can make on some of the products. You've got some dynamite products out there as it is now. Um, fantastic stuff. Everything that I've seen so far from your company has been dynamite. And I would love to turn around and take a look at some more of your stuff. Because I have a funny feeling that the quality, the fit, the finish, and everything else is going to be great. And I hate bombing a product. I really do. Every product has got a something wrong with it something that can be changed, something that can be made better, at least in one person's opinion. Somebody else may have another idea. You get all the ideas together and you come up with something that, you know, well, might not be perfect for everybody. It'll work great for the majority of the people out there and make their lives a lot easier. So, like I said, I hope that I've helped more than I've hurt. With had that, 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 oh, I'm doing so good today. It's getting hotter than hell in here. 
I'm going to have to put the fan on, so just to cool this place down some. But, all right, let me get out of here, let you folks get back to your holiday weekend. If you're celebrating the 4th, I hope you have a nice, safe holiday. Enjoy yourselves. Don't eat too much. You know, you still got to get into your work clothes come Monday, excuse me, come Tuesday morning. Okay? Monday, 4th. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Like I said, duh. Guys, guys, ladies and gentlemen, have a great holiday. Thanks for, st for putting up with my stupidity here, my ranting and everything else. Thank you so much for the support. If you like what you've seen, then yeah, go down over here, hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. If Well, if that is if you like what you're seeing. That's down over there. Yeah. One of these days, I'll get myself straight. Guys, take care. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the Lord hold you in the hollow of his hand. And may you be in heaven a half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Take care. Be safe, folks.